outside and I'm right next to a wall. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a healthy fall treats video for you guys. I included two or three fall treats for you guys and one DIY pumpkin spice latte. Obviously the pumpkin spice latte isn't the healthiest thing you could eat, but I mean at least you know what's going into this, so it's definitely healthier than the Starbucks one. Oh my gosh, Cookie, stop with the barking! Sadly, this is my last fall video, which is part of my Sid and Mish series. But don't worry, I'll be back next year with lots more fall videos. But I really need you guys' help thinking of a winter series name. I was thinking maybe Christmas, because it sounds a lot like Christmas. But I don't want to only think about Christmas, because I want it to be for all holidays, because lots of people don't celebrate Christmas. And also, I want it to be my winter series, not just my... Christmas series if you guys know what I mean. Everything in this video includes either apples, cinnamon, pumpkin, or all of those. So they're definitely fall approved. I just thought, I mean, we all love chocolate and you can always eat chocolate year round, but why not make some healthier fall alternatives to those yummy yummy treats? So that's basically what I'm showing you guys in this video and let's get started. So I like to call these three bites of fall because you can eat them in around three bites and they taste and smell just like fall. So to make these you will need coconut flour or normal flour, milk or almond milk, one and a half cup of oats, half a cup of pumpkin puree, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and half a banana. Obviously you can play around with the measurements, get just what you love. Basically you're just going to add the pumpkin puree first because it will make a really nice base. Um, I add all your ingredients on top of your oats and things like that and obviously you can change this recipe. So for example, I kept on adding more oats but what I think was missing was definitely some crunchiness like almonds so I would definitely add this but also you want to refrigerate these for around half an hour before eating them or at least until they're cold and these taste amazing after you add something sweet and maybe some crunchiness. Okay, so I know pumpkin spice lattes aren't the healthiest thing, but at least you know what's going into this one, so it is healthier than the Starbucks one. All you need is vanilla extract, half a cup of milk, half a cup of coffee, pumpkin puree, cinnamon, and brown sugar or cinnamon sugar. You're just going to want to mix all your ingredients together with your milk. And also just keep in mind, if you want to make a bigger cup, use a one-to-one -one ratio with the milk and the coffee. Basically, if you want to use one cup of coffee, use one cup of milk. I just use half a cup of coffee, so obviously I used half a cup of milk. But basically, make sure all your ingredients are mixed together well, and then just pour those into your coffee. And obviously, it is necessary to add some, you guessed it, whipped cream. Like, I cannot drink coffee without whipped cream. I don't know, unless it's iced, I need to have it with whipped cream. But yeah, this is very yummy, and it tastes just like the Starbucks one, and I love it. To make these taco boats, you will need soft taco boats, cinnamon and sugar, or stevia, and diced apples. Obviously, you can add like something like bananas, you can make it your own, but I prefer to use apples. So you basically are just going to mix up your cinnamon with your apples, and it's as simple as that. Now moving on to the actual taco boats, I like to add sugar and cinnamon to them, but obviously you can add whatever you want. Um, these are just what I recommend because sugar usually takes away the saltiness of the taco boats that usually come already, and cinnamon adds really, really nice flavor and complements the apples. Okay, so once you're done adding your sugar and your cinnamon to your taco boats, you want to add your apple mixture to them. Make sure to fill it quite a lot because you don't want to have a lot of taco left over, you know what I mean? Um, and then when you're done, bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit in your oven for about 5 minutes and they'll be nice and crunchy but the apples will still be pretty soft and sweet. Then once you pull them out of the oven, they will look really nice and golden on the outside. And the apples will taste delicious, and I have to admit, this is probably my favorite treat out of all of them.
Okay, to make these honey almond crackers, it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll need almond butter, honey, and any crackers. I use salting crackers, and I'm really glad I did because it turned out as a sweet and salty snack, which I love. It's really simple. You're just going to put on your almond butter on each of your crackers. Uh, put on a generous amount, I would say. Um, not too much and not too little. And then drizzle your crackers in honey. And honestly, you can add whatever you want. You can add sugar, cinnamon, and it's a really great homework snack because it helps you stay focused. I'll see you guys.